Hi, this is David at Mash IT, and tonight, following on from our 9710 review, we're actually going to be looking at Dell's Hit and Miss QC. Now, my friend Lee has sent me over his XPS 9710, and this is the i9 version, and it's severely overheating. Now, when running Cinebench, whilst running Intel XTU, looking at the temperatures on this machine, you can see it is clearly throttling the CPU right back, which, admittedly, this is a thinner light chassis with a vapor chamber cooler, so I'm not expecting flat out full performance out of this machine but it's running so poorly, that it's running worse than probably in last year's i7 version. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip this back, we're gonna repaste it, and we're gonna then run the tests again and see how well it performs. Now, fortunately, this model is very easy to repaste. All we need to do is remove the base plate, which exposes the vapor chamber cooler. Now, Dell have kindly numbered the six screws that hold the vapor chamber cooler onto the laptop. So remove these screws and carefully lift off the vapor chamber plate. This then exposes Dell's awful paste stamp on the CPU and the GPU. We need to carefully clean the CPU and GPU die with some isopropyl. Now we need to also make sure we clean the back of the vapor chamber plate so there's none of the paste remaining. Now we can actually repaste. And unfortunately I only had an old tube of Thermal Grizzly on hand. And this was a really poor paste job. Really sorry Lee. But fortunately this is still much better than Dell's job. Now that we've repasted, it, we're going to put the vapor chamber back onto the laptop. Very carefully placing it down on, back onto the CPU and GPU dies and we're gonna screw back our six screws, making sure to screw the screws in evenly. So maybe a turn on each of the screws from number one through to six, so that the actual vapor chamber plate goes down evenly onto the CPU and GPU die. Then all we do is put the base plate back on, fire it up and retest. So there we have it. Machine is back together, we're back into Windows, running the same tests again. So opening Intel XTU and running Cinebench R20, you can see now it's throttling a lot less now you're always gonna get some throttling, it's a slimmer light laptop, even though it's got a vapor chamber cooler, it cannot run this i9 CPU flat out. But we've got a massive improvement here from just doing the simple repaste, and we're talking just over 20% in Cinebench R20. So this is definitely worth doing, but I have to say, Dell's incredibly hit and miss QC on an expensive laptop, this should not be happening. Firstly, they should have been testing it before it went out the doors and noticed that it was thermal throttling and it's not performing as expected. And secondly, they should be doing a better job repasting these expensive laptops. Now, I'm not the best person to be repasting. and This is not my forte. Obviously, I can take machines apart quite easily. I can repaste, but I could have done a better job. The pace I had was quite old and it was quite difficult to apply. And there certainly are better pace out there nowadays. But if I can make such a big difference like this on this expensive laptop, it's a shame on Dell that they couldn't have actually supplied it running as it should have been. So hopefully you found this video useful. Drop your comments down below and I will get back to you. Any questions, any thoughts, any ways I could improve this repaste, always grateful to hear your thoughts. And lastly, thanks for watching.